I know what you're thinking. Why do you have a fish? What's with the fish in this video? Well, I'm here to teach my goldfish a lesson. So as you guys know, one of my common goldfish went missing the other day. All right, we have one common goldfish right there, and we have another common goldfish right there. There used to be a third one. There used to be a third one that swam around among this tank until we discovered that one of these fish ate him. One of these goldfish ate that common goldfish. And they have to realize that that is not okay. They're not the only ones that can enjoy a nice fish here and there. So I'm gonna eat this fish in front of them to show them who's boss and to make sure they don't ever try anything like that ever again. I want these fish to realize that if they ever try something like that again, it's gonna be them on this plate. Hmm. I'm a great cook. <laughs> oh, bone. Bone. Hmm. Carrots are good too. See this guy right here? You see him? Mmm, yeah. You're not the only ones that enjoys a little fishy bite here and there. Hmm. You see this, Jill? You see this? That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you if you ever try to pull something like that again. I'll let it slide just this once. You get one free pass, one free cannibalism pass. After that, after that, I'm gonna eat you. Okay, I think we cleaned that guy pretty good. Hey guys, you see this? You see this? You know what this is? This is what you did to your friend. And it's what I'm going to do to you if you ever try something like that again. Take a good look, everyone. Okay, I think those guys have learned their lesson. Now it's time to feed some Mizuho feed to our guys right here. So I've actually not yet fed them any Mizuho feed. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a really great high growth formula. So I've been feeding them the Kenta gas release that I got from Jimmy Goldfish, but I wanna have this be their main staple of their feed because I'm trying to get these guys super fat and super chonky. Okay, we got a little pellets here. We're gonna give them a second to start sinking. They're very slow sinking pellets. So I actually am an affiliate of this company, uh, of Mizuho Feed. So if you go in the description of this video, you can get a bag for yourself or multiple bags for 10% off. So if you're interested in getting some high growth feed, definitely go and do that. And I get a commission also when you use my link. So you help support this channel and you get a discount on some great feed. And these guys absolutely love it. They're just going through here like a bunch of little bulldozers. They are, they are mowing it all down. Is that good, Gizmo? Is that good? Yeah, yeah, they are loving it. So fun to watch them sift through the sand now. This is what I love about having sand in goldfish tanks. They just, it gives them a little more, it gives them something to do all day. They can just sift through the sand and feeding time is a lot more entertaining. Um, just it's funny to see them like, you know, pull up the sand into the mouth, sift through it, spit it back out. It's like they're a bunch of little, you know, smart vacuum cleaners. They're a bunch of intelligent vacuum, not that intelligent, but they're a bunch of intelligent vacuum cleaners. And now for these little rascals here. So let's give them some pellets. Okay, that was absolutely way too many pellets. I dropped that on accident. Um, I'm just gonna see how much they can consume in a couple minutes and everything else I will be removing. Also, this was that super stressed goldfish that was, you know, floating at the surface, not doing well. Um, but now he's doing absolutely great swimming around eating. I'm thinking of naming him Lazarus because he basically almost rose from the dead. And as we know, we can tell from the white dots on this guy, that is Jack. Jack with his breeding stars, a very predominant male. And this is Jill the Jerk. Jill the absolute jerk of a goldfish that bit her friend during pea feeding time and then choked down a pea. Then she choked down a pea. Um, and also, I have been noticing a little bit of whitish poop coming from these guys. Now, I'm not sure if that just looks white and it's actually just from all the peas and it's actually green and it's stained by the methylene blue. Um, but I'm noticing some whitish poop. I'm not sure if there are internal parasites in these guys. Um, again, that's why I have these 
in like this big quarantine tank. Cause I'm not sure what kind of what kind of worms and crap they came with from the pet store. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to take some pellets out of here. Sorry, guys. Also, you guys are not going to believe what the fish basement looks like right now. I cannot believe the progress on this place. Three, two, one. What? Guys, look at the progress on this place. Look at this. So we literally just need like one more floor panel going all the way along the edge there. And then we're gonna need like some trim going around the bottom where the, where the wall meets the floor. And we're also gonna need some crown molding where like the ceiling hits the wall just to kind of cover up those gaps. Um, and then I'm also gonna be having some window frames put up just to kind of cover up that concrete exposed area there. Um, but after that, and I'm gonna have a little, a little patch of something put there to cover that up. Um, but after all those little finishing touches, this place will be done. This place will be done and it will be ready for me to transform it into the fish basement. So I can't tell you how excited I am. Now, there's definitely still some plumbing work I have to do. I have to like tap into the water thing there and, you know, line some, some water tubes to wherever I'm going to have tanks and stuff like that. Um, so I got some plumbing work to do, a little bit of like electrical work to do, but nothing too complicated. Um, but yeah, this place, like, I think honestly, I will start setting up tanks here, like later at the end of next week. I think I'll start, I'll start having tanks full of water in here, getting ready to prepare it for the fish. So yeah, this is, this is crazy progress. I can't believe how far it's come since when it first started. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to Tractor Supply Company and I'm going to go buy some more tanks. I will need a lot of 100-gallon stock tanks to stock this entire place up. So I'm going to go buy a couple more right now. I think I'm going to try to fit three or four, whatever I can get in the back of my car. Let's go to Tractor Supply Company and spend even more money. I cannot tell you guys how much money I've been spending since I moved here. You got to spend money on the renovations. You got to spend money on the tools. You got to spend money on like bills, on like propane. Propane is so expensive. And then like I paid my electric bill. Yikes. So basically, I'm spending a lot, lot more money than I'm making right now. So we're definitely, we're going in the hole a little bit. Uh, but I'm hoping, you know, as soon as I get that basement done and, you know, I stop paying for all these renovations and I get some tanks and stuff down there and I start selling fish again, then I'll get some money. In the meantime, if you guys want to help support this channel, uh, if you want to become a channel member or buy some merch, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, I'm here at Tractor Supply Company. Let's go in and get some tanks. Two, three, four. Was there a fifth? Oh yeah, it's one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay guys, I got five of these 110 gallon stock tanks in the back of my car. Um, I just spent $500. $500 I just spent. Oh well. Okay, I'm at Chipotle now. I'm getting Chipotle with my brother. Okay, we got my brother here and we got the five tanks. We're gonna be taking these tanks and I'm just gonna be laying them in my garage here. So like this place is kind of a mess and it's gonna just keep getting worse. I'm just gonna have it be my junk area for now. Right now it's about 9 p.m. I usually end my vlogs a lot earlier than this so I can get on editing the vlog. So right now I'm gonna see if I can edit this whole vlog so it's ready to upload by tomorrow morning. So hopefully I can do that and you guys will be watching this in the following day. Luke Scoldies. Out.